it's very exciting. It's also very strange because you don't expect that kind of a response. You know, you don't expect people to be there waiting for you, knowing who you are. You know, it's just it's very new to me. So I'm dealing with it the best way I know how, which is right now just. Uh, I try to, to meet as many people as I can and uh, in a situation like they have downstairs with all the kids, I, I try to sign as many things as I can. I don't want to hurt anybody fe anybody's feelings or, uh, or uh, make them feel like uh, I don't have time to do that. You know what I mean? But it's very hard because they're saying, please sign this, please sign this, and then I have these those guard guys pulling me saying, come on, we got to go, we got to go. So it's it's a little strange to be in that kind of a situation. Is it true that you were selling pens when Nicolas Cage introduced you to his agent? I was. Can you tell us about the story a little bit? Yeah, I had moved to uh, Los Angeles in 1983 with a, a band I was playing with. I used to play guitar in a band called The Kids. Um, and I met Nick uh, through a s friend of mine, and uh, he thought I would be all right if I... If I uh, he thought I should try acting and, you know, give it my best shot. And I was selling pens over the phone, making about... Fifty dollars a week, maybe something like that. And uh, I had met his agent. She sent me to read for Elm Street or meet the people, and I uh, just got very lucky and got the role.